number one thing that's going to change your life, the only thing that will change your life, change your business, change your money, change your relationship. Go be somebody. There's no reason that you have to be stuck somewhere because some liberal journalist said you were stuck. You're not stuck. You need to decide that my life is not good enough the way it is. And so I am going to control the controllables. I am going to change some things. No one accidentally wins. Everyone in the world has a list of things they think they should do. I should lose weight. I should work out. I should spend more time with my kids. I should work harder. I should make more calls. I should, I should, I should, I should. And then you know what? People don't do their shoulds and they get mad at themselves and they, what I call, should all over themselves. They beat themselves up about it. What changes people is when your should becomes a must. When suddenly the thing you said should happen has to happen. That's when human beings change. It's like if you want to take the island and you're the head of the army and you want to take the island, the most powerful way to take the island is burn the boats. Because if there's no way to go back, it's amazing what happens when it's a must to do something versus a should. That's what makes human beings succeed. Sleep is for those people who are broke. He said, I got an opportunity to make a dream become a reality. I said, look, don't cry to give up. Cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain. You already hurt. Get a reward from it. Don't go to sleep until you succeed. Listen to me. I mean, you'll never be successful until I don't have to give you a dime to do what you do. Where all you want to do is be successful as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. Most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it bad and then you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. You gotta be willing to work off for three hours of sleep, two hours. If you really want to be successful, some days you're gonna have to stay up three days in a row. Because if you go to sleep, you might miss the opportunity to be successful. That's how bad you gotta want it. You gotta go days without, listen to me, you gotta want to be successful so bad that you forget to eat. To be able at any moment to sacrifice what you are for what you will become. Some of you need to give up your cell phone because the time you spend on your cell phone could be used for your success. The time you could be using to be successful, you're using it on the cell. And the cell phone is not bringing you nothing but a bill. And somebody has told you, you couldn't live without it. I'm talking about going deep now, giving up stuff. Watch what it says. To be able at any moment to sacrifice what we are for what we could be. I don't do well in math, you're right. You ain't never studied. I'm not good in writing because you have never written before. But I dare you to fail in writing for a whole year to see if you can get to the end. I dare you to fail. I dare you to take that same class over and over again. I dare you to stop dropping classes like you soft. Always want to give up. I'm dropping. Why are you dropping? I'm so grateful that the slaves didn't drop and quit. Say, I'm just going to stop. I'm a slave. I'm just going to be a slave. I'm going to quit. Listen to me. The slaves said, we will live because one day we will become. Number one, you need to have a written plan, a budget. No one accidentally wins at anything. And you're not the exception. You have to do a written game plan with money or you're going to lose. Second thing is you got to get out of debt. Your most powerful wealth building tool is your income. And when you spend your whole freaking life giving your money to banks who fill up the skyline and have furniture nicer than yours, that makes you stupid. Get out of debt. When you don't have any payments, you know what you've got? Money. Do I care if you get out of debt? Yes, I want you to win. I want you to have a great life. But do I care if you agree with me? No. If you don't agree with me about this money stuff, you're what's known as wrong. 
live on less than you make. Number three, in the house of the wise are stars, stores of choice food and oil, but a foolish man delivers all, <laughs> devours all that he has. If you spend everything you make, you're a fool. You're only stagnant, got stagnant wages if you decide to stay there and keep getting those wages. This is not Russia. You can quit. I don't like how much Walmart pays. I don't like how much McDonald's pays. So don't work there, stupid. Go to work for somebody else. I don't like how my company treats me. So leave. Go be somebody. There's no reason that you have to be stuck somewhere because some liberal journalist said you were stuck. You're not stuck. You need to go be somebody. You need to leave the cave, kill something, and drag it home. You need to decide that my life is not good enough the way it is. And so I am going to control the controllables. I am going to change some things. Because guess what? Nobody in Washington is going to fix your life. Santa Claus doesn't live there, baby. Have you noticed that the Democrats and the Republicans, neither one could freaking add? Have you ever had any of them send you money? No. They are not going to fix your freaking life. You are going to fix your life. You're going to get on a plan. You're going to get out of debt. You're going to live on less than you make. And then you're going to save some money. You know how rich people get rich? They save money. You need to get up off your assumption and go do something. You need to get up off your assumption and start investing some money. 100% of the people that don't save money don't have any. Doesn't take a freaking rocket scientist to figure this out. You know what the problem on your investments are? The problem with your investments is not your rate of return. It's not your expense ratio. It's not no load versus load. It's not your nerdy, twisted up, toxic butt opinion about some investment. Your problem with your investments is you don't have any. Invest money, save money. You know how you're going to do that? You're going to be on a plan. You're going to get up out of debt. You're going to live on less than you make. And voila, there is money in the budget. It's called margin. To understand the role of money inside an organization. Money is fuel, and fuel is very important. I think there's, I think money is, is, there's nothing wrong with money. It's just we have to understand the purpose of money, right? So the company is the car, and money is the fuel. So I don't care how amazing your just cause is and how wonderful your culture is. If you have no money, you don't go anywhere. Like you, most, you might have bought the most beautiful car, mm -hmm. you got no gas, you got nowhere to go. The purpose of a car is not to buy gas. The purpose of a company is not to make money. The purpose of a car is to go somewhere, and fuel helps you get there. Right. The purpose of a company is to accomplish something, to advance a greater cause, to contribute to society, and money will help you get there.